And the question will be now, you were quoted having said that Chishimba uh, Kambwili is uh, not does not qualify to stand as a PF president. Yes. Of course, we have seen a lot of names that have been slotted in terms of uh, the people that have uh, declared interest to contest the presidents, although others are still using diplomacy uh, in terms of whether or not they are available or not. Uh, we have Emmanuel Mamba, as well as uh, Brian Munduile, we've got uh, uh, Bizo Mutale as well, uh, Dr. Jishimba Kambu himself, that have uh, made themselves available to take over the periodic front. <laughs> and, uh, well, among us to all these individuals, for you, you've singled out uh, uh, President Tajishimba Kambwili that he doesn't qualify to be PF president. You were quoted. Are those your words? Yeah. Yes, but let me just put it in context. Please. I didn't single him out. I think he, that's not correct. Right. I was responding to a question by a reporter. Right. Okay? I was responding to a question by a reporter. Right. So... <laughs> In my contextualizing the question, or my answer rather, I said to the young reporter, I have seen this halabaloo within PF, uh, you know, because that question was coming on the heels of the dissolution of the Lusaka Provincial yeah. Committee. Yeah. And 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 the, how they rioted about it. Mm. Okay, I watched the the clip on the social media, mm. and the, the vice president. Oh, sorry, uh, I beg your pardon. The, the vice chairman. No, the vice chairman. Right. The vice chairman, uh, you know, of the province was saying, or the dissolved province was saying, mm. I have a right to support Shimbakambwili as a, a presidential candidate. That's made democratic right. Mm. And other people also have their democratic right to support somebody else. Yeah. Mm. Fair comment. The point I was making was this. Mm. That under the electoral regulations of the PF, as I know them, unless they have changed, Shimba Kambwidi does not qualify. Why? Because he is not eligible to be a delegate at the general conference. Why? Because he doesn't hold any position in the structures of the party from which delegates to the general conference are drawn. Hmm. That's all that I was saying. And I was expressing surprise that if officials at the level of the province, do not understand the rules of the party, including the electoral rules. Mm. Isn't that the reason why there is so much confusion in the party? So now that you have mentioned those other names, yep. Emmanuel Mwamba does not qualify because he doesn't hold a position in any party structure or organ. Bizo Mutari does not qualify because to be chairman of mobilization is not is not the mobilization committee is not a party organ and you saw this with my young brother KBF mm. he made so much noise even he told his supporters you see if he am not allowed to attend the general conference I obtain an injunction did he? he did it because he came to realize that he is not eligible to stand that was the only point I was making so the, 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 the backlash, let me make yeah, a point. Please. The backlash I saw from the Kambuidi supporters mm. was insulting me, falling short of insulting my mother, who is not even a politician. You know, they spent the whole of yesterday using Kambuidi's talk time, I'm sure. You know? How do only, you know? Only, 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 well, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Mm. And the point is this. I'm just a messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just telling them what the rules say. I'm just stating a rule. Mm. If I'm wrong, what I expect them to say is, no, winter, na you have forgotten the rules. The rules have actually changed now. That anybody who walks past the Mulungushi International Conference Center, assuming that the, U, the PF General Conference is mm. taking place at the Mulungushi Conference Center, and there is a banner there showing PFU General Conference. 
that anybody who drives past that can just stop and check and say, what's going on here? At the general conference, you have a, you have a PF. Then, you know, they turn into Mungochi Conference Center, go and find the, the chaps in charge of the elections and send pen nomination paper, but, you know, therefore you are president. Can't you see chaos? Which institution, you know, runs like that? Not even the Republican Party in the United States, not even the Democratic Party in the United States, to be, to be uh, voted for hmm. as a Republican candidate in the United States, you must be a member of the Republican Convention. You can't just come from uh, ShopRite, you know, and say, you know, the nearest place is Mungunj Conference Center. That's the point I'm making. So instead of uh, losing breath on insulting me, Put forward an argument. Where are you drawing your argument, you yourself? Because from the electoral rules, you've mentioned that uh, you are not you are not in the PF as much as we know. You yes. are a leader of yes. a different political party. Yes. But the question is, where are you drawing all this explanation? You know, in terms of, uh, of course, I know you were you were a former SG yes. in the Federal Front. Yes, and the rules could have changed. You That's what know. I'm saying. That's yes. what I'm saying. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm being. I'm being. I'm. I'm so, uh, IP, I'm yeah. being I'm being very uh, very charitable yeah. and withdrawn. Right. Okay. Mm. I'm being very extremely charitable and withdrawn. I'm mm. saying, if the rules have changed, but mm. don't forget that I convened as Secretary General of the Party. I convened the June 2011 General Conference. The exactly. first General and Conference. That's, that's the first point. My question, because I've got the Constitution here. So, what are you trying to say when you say? Uh, you are drawing your argument from the electoral rules. Yes. Please just explain further on that. There is a booklet. Right. There's a booklet which is entitled the PF Electoral Regulations. Right. Which feeds into the constitution, which was approved by the Central Committee of the Party. Mm. When was that? During my time. Right. Okay. Mm. And I've tried to ask around. In mm. fact, the, I, I started making these inquiries during the time of KBF. I said to people in PF, have you had new rules formulated apart from those that were formulated during my time mm. as SG? They said, no, we're still using the same rules. So that gives me comfort that my argument is correct, that my submission is right. The mm. point I'm making is that the levels of intolerance in PF are just the same as the levels of intolerance in UPND. That they want to be glorified, they want to be idolized, they don't want to hear the truth. Now, the truth is something that you can't change. I don't have a factory where I can go and change the truth into falsehood. I don't run such a factory. So I just state the truth as it is. It may come to you with a bad taste in your mouth, but it is true. And the truth here is that, is that Dr. Kambuli doesn't uh, stand. Unfortunate, doesn't unfortunately and sadly enough, he can crisscross the country. He is not eligible. His name won't find the, uh, uh, itself in the register of the general conference. He will not be a delegate and you won't even walk through the gate into the general conference. That's what I know. Together with uh, Imano Mwamba? Bonse, well Chabe. Bonse, Bonse. Bonse. What is needed for them to qualify as to be part and parcel of the delegation? They should go to the SG and ask that. I'm not SG. Mm. Let them go to SG and say, Bwana, uh, eh, bo, bo, Comrade SG, I want to stand myself. What should I do? The SG will guide them. To start insulting the SG is not what is going to help them. To start calling, uh, you know, the SG, it's not what will help them. Mm. To start threatening ECO and say, ba, 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 ba President, to Ali Michindika Sana Nomba, Mamanatan Party, Nomba, Tampio Kumisarula, you know, that's ridiculous. That just shows you the levels of indiscipline in this political party called PF. When they were eating with Edgar Lungu, they were licking his shoes. And today, they are eating from somebody else and they want to start demeaning and they start vilifying Edgar. Just shows you the crop of human beings and why this party 
cannot stand. It's because of those levels of indiscipline. And it just shows you why many people are leaving PF today to come to the Rainbow Party. They can't stand mm. this kind of indiscipline.